Hey, what's up everyone? Today we are going to look at how to install Android OS on VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox environment. So this is beneficial for the pen testers, especially if you are doing Android testing, if you don't have your own testing mobile phone or you can't really use your personal device. VirtualBox is pretty much a um, good option for you guys. So in my case, I'm going to download the Android OS or VDI file for the Oracle VirtualBox environment. Then after that, I'm going to install that one. So simply you can go to the Google and search Android OS for VirtualBox and press enter. So you can see main two links over there. So first one is Android x86 org and the other one from the OS boxes. So when you go to the Android x86, you can download the Android x86 OS from here, which is specifically for the um, Oracle Virtual Box. So you can download this, follow these steps, and you can um, simply install that OS from here, as well as you can see the OS boxes. So especially in this case, you can download the VDI file which they have pre-created the VM for us. So this is basically Lineage OS 14.1. So I'm going to use this one because it's easier for me. It is pre-built one. I just have to double click and just import the OS which is very simpler. First of all we need to download this so you can see there are plenty of options but this is the right choice for you. Um, if you are with 32 bit, you can go ahead and download with this. If you are with 64 bit, you can download this one. If you are with the Oracle, not Oracle, but you are with the VMware, you can download the VMDK file from here. So, some information over there. So, I'm with the Oracle VirtualBox as a my hypervisor. So, I'm going to download this. So, this is navigated to the soft page and here I have already downloaded this one. So uh, I'm not going to spend my time to download again. So let's go and see what we can see in the file. Track this file from here or else you can open it from the Windows Explorer anyway. Um, I'm going to extract it all just for my desktop. And I'm just waiting to extract. Um, until that, I'm opening my virtual box and getting ready the things. Uh, we have to wait just a little time until it's extracted. So once it's extracted, we can just simply open the file. This will take a little time because I'm not using the 7-zip here, just using the Windows default um, unzip tool. Yep. There we are. So we do have the unzip file, and as you can see, this is the VDI file for the um, Lineage OS 14.1. This is very simple. This is virtual disk image. So what you can do here, once you extract the file, go to the new virtual machine, and you can give name like Android test, and you can select the file path and I'm going to click next. I'm not going to select the ISO image here. Maybe you can select the OS type. I'm selecting type other version other. Click next. You can specify the RAM. Maybe I will give 2 GB. And number of CPU is 1 which is fine for me. In here you have to use use an existing virtual hard drive and click and add go to the desktop 64 bit open your extracted lineage os file here double click and simply open it choose that file it is already dedicated like 100 gb which is fine for us so go ahead and click next here is the summary and click finish so before you start the virtual machine, you can do some uh, changes on your settings if you would like to have some more memory, more processors, 
especially display i'm going to increase my vga size so you can see the options over here you can increase your graphic storage any things if you want to change your network adapters uh, if you want to add some more adapters for your internal network so you can do it from here i'm not going to touch anything from here just leave it as default and click ok and once you all set up the settings simply click start virtual machine this might take little time because uh, this is virtual box environment not like a usual android device so we have to be patient we have to be just wait and see what's going on so this is the initial setup i'm go with this mode and it will start the virtual machine maybe i will fast forward this which is easier for us to see otherwise it will take little time to load the os in here as you can see it's loading the lineage os we'll just wait there we are so now the os has been booted up and we are in the os so this is just look like a usual android phone you can go to the menu you can have contacts pretty much everything same like the um usual android phone the contacts over here you can go to the messages if you want you can um sync your gmail account to the play store from here and you can see the regular menu um this is not a wi-fi connection it is taking as a wi-fi connection but it is just a lan connection uh i think it's because of the behavior of this virtual box environment so this is how we can do it very simple steps if you have any questions any doubts please leave a comment on the comment section i will write down the description of this virtual box link where you can download this one so yeah that's it for today guys thank you stay tuned